Hi, this is Jeff Wallace. I'm a geriatrician at the University of Colorado Hospital, and I'm a medical director and clinician who sees patients uh, in the rehab and nursing home centers, uh, two of which are nearby University Hospital. Uh, today is Monday, March 30th. I just finished uh, a day seeing patients in the nursing home setting. Uh, the day started off with a little challenge with our fellow who usually rounds with me uh, being out because her roommate has COVID and she has some minor symptoms now and so she can't come anywhere near the long-term care facilities. I was joined by a different trainee. Uh, we went and saw five patients. Uh, these were essential visits, patients who needed to be seen all non-essential visits are not being seen, certainly not face-to-face -face in the nursing home facility. And in fact, one can't get in the door unless it's deemed to be an essential visit. And there's a routine now before we even walk in. Do we have any symptoms? If we had any exposures, we get our temperature checked. And once we clear that, we can go in and see patients. Uh, I saw my five patients, none of whom have COVID symptoms, uh, and then moved on to a little bit more of a uh, administrative role, meeting with uh, staff in the facility. The challenges there are that we still have a major delay in testing. So we have six patients who possibly have COVID and uh, their tests have been pending now for over seven days. It took a handful of days to get the proper testing materials. Then we have to mail them actually out of state uh, and our current supplies are uh, not adequate for, for continuing testing and rapid turnaround. So we have six patients who have been on quarantine now for an average of about eight days. They're not allowed out of the room. Staff treat them as if they have COVID. Uh, this is a major challenge in the, in the building. Thankfully, we have uh, uh, all the uh, protective uh, uh, equipment we need. So staff uh, feel relatively confident going in and caring for those patients. Um, we are um, uh, continuing to accept patients who don't have COVID-related conditions, but that's another challenge. When the hospitals start getting full, which we assume they will, and they have patients who need to recover in rehab centers, we're going to need to be sure they're cleared of having COVID. That uh, technically requires two tests, or at least at a minimum clinical improvement. We in the long-term care setting are working hard to have uniform criteria in Denver and Colorado at large as to when it will be safe to take patients from the hospital. We're working to have separate wards within buildings or ideally separate buildings where patients with COVID recovering who need rehab are able to go and, uh, and that would uh, therefore not have them dispersed throughout the city and potentially spread uh, a disease uh, from home to home. Um, the other uh, things that I was involved in after those administrative calls included calls with leadership at the university, where thankfully we're working with uh, research and, um, and therapy colleagues who are trying to figure out a way to keep older adults active while they're all self-isolating, whether at home or in my nursing home facilities. They're in their rooms, they're not doing much, they're no longer walking down the hallways, their physical and social isolation is rather complete, and that's a major challenge. Uh, we don't want these people to decline. They may avoid COVID and then are so weak they need extra care or fall down and succumb to breaking their hip. So people are thinking about this on the positive, and we are preparing for the storm that we're anticipating is going to come into the nursing home setting. The last challenge I'd share is at the end of my rounding and in leadership and ministry, administrative activities, I went to a nearby hospice where one of my patients uh, was admitted. I wanted to go see him. He's someone I've taken care of for years, know the family well. And I had to think long and hard about whether it was safe for me to go from my nursing home facility as I could be a potential carrier and going to a, 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 a hospice setting. I don't want to spread uh, uh, COVID myself. So with um, ample precautions, changing garments, uh, appropriate hand care, wearing a mask myself, I did go see my patient. Uh, but imagine families having to deal with that, um, not, trying to get out, see loved ones. End of life care visits are allowed, but it's still a struggle. And um, that was my day. So Jeff Wallace, signing off.